Okay, so I uh, think I have signed up. So I don't know who is this anonymous on my file. So, but this is how Figma desktop look like, where you have to create a new design and then prototype it. And this is how Figjam look like. So this one is just a new one that you, they actually just put. I mean, with Figma, but it's not, it's not yet published like until August. So for this import, you can import um, extract files. You can bring in files into your Figma, maybe from this, um, from desktop from what they call it now. So you can bring in file inside you can when you see a design you can also bring it out there using um PDF format. You can actually bring it in into your figure, fig jam, either your fig jam or your figma board. So you can import. So for the fig jam, this is where you can click to go to fig jam for figma and this is where you can click to go to figma. So this is how it looks like your account is going to be here. So after setting up your account, you know you're not going to have image as First time user, you're not going to have an image, and this name is going to carry your full name. So you can come here to change your thing to be either the light mode, which is too bright for me, or you can come here to change to the dark mode, or you can just go to your um, um, settings. So for here, you can go to your setting to change one or two. For here, you can go to your community profile. So if I take you to my community profile, I'm having network issues. So if I take you to my community profile, you're going to see some of the work I have published on Figma community that I allow people to use. So I have published two products out here for people to use. Though I have not had my banner on the page, so I can change this, my name to my real name. So I have published, I have done two designs. That is one for web and web design. And this is one for web design. So web three, standing page, web two. I have published for people to actually use. So over 150. Here is just a recent one I published one month ago for the five people that are using it. Um, and I'm the only one that likes the design. So that is how it goes. So for here, I can actually add other accounts. So this is actually one Figma file that we are two using this account. Okay. So I can add other people with that. Please, who is sharing my design? So here you can add other accounts and here you can either log out this or this. So that is how it does. So here you can change my, I can change my profile to, yeah. Am I back? Hello, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me now? Yes. yes. There's my, there's one. All right, all right, Sas, I'm back. So, okay, now this is where I can change my profile picture if I want to change my profile. Yes, I can hear you. So, okay, so this is where I can change my profile picture. So let's go back to the home. So here I can see the notification of people that have dropped comments. Let's say some persons have dropped comments on my design. Okay, let's say um, Maureen, Maureen did her design and her assignment, and then she, she did her design and she deleted her comment on Thing was inspired, so I would comment immediately. I drop comment, she's going to receive email from Figma and she's going to receive a notification from here. So, what I normally do, I have this Figma um, mobile application on my phone where I have to preview all my designs. For. So, I turn on the notification, I will know when someone has had a comment or when someone has dropped design on my, on my drop comment on my design. So, I instantly I will get a notification. That's how you're going to get notification from the Figma um, mobile app, and then Figma will send you a link that so two person has dropped a file or uh, a comment on your file. So you, if if I'm actually working on it, and if I'm working on the design A, and um, and if I'm working on the design A, and somebody drop, and I'm working on the design A, and somebody drop a comment. Just come here, it's instant design. I will type it on the same page. You make all these necessary connection and stuff. I just come here and just say, okay, sir, I'm going to my comments. So here you can see all the notifications. So here you can see the notification. You can scroll down to see. So these are all my notifications. So this is where it stops in June 21st. So this is where it stops. And dropping the, um, the notification, then you can see where the person actually dropped the, um, the comment. Oh, so this is one, this, this 
is turning a new object less than a month ago. So this was a new object. So cool and so easy. You don't have to go into the Figma file to define the pieces that will be coming for you. So this is it. You can choose to come to this on read and then check all the messages that you have not read. And then you can mark all of them as something that you just want to mark out. So here you're going to see your all your recent designs. So these are my private recent designs and these are my public draft designs. So I'm still trying to figure out this new update they got less than a month. I'm still trying to study to understand what the difference between is draft to move and then recent. But for the recent, it's all the recent design that I have visited. Whether you visited the design is whether it's your own or it's not your own. Whether it's your own or it's not your own. Whether it's your own or it's not your own, you can actually um you can actually um see all the prevent uh, recent designs for this particular place. Then for here you can see your teams. Now if you check here, you will see my team. Some teams are free. This is Edu. Um, this is free, free Edu, and then free. And now this is what I was I was saying. My account is actually an educational um plan. There um I can give you access to. Where I can give you access to um where I can give you access for you to either not to copy my design at all or copy my design. You can choose to put password on my design if I want to. So let me come to this my design. Yeah. So let me come to this my design here. Yeah. Now let me come to this my design and show you what I mean by now. Look like now look at this design now. You can see that it has now look at this project now. You can see that this project. So I guess it's better by doing that. So you if you come to this design, you will see that um there's a key, something like key here. Yeah. Now in this design, you can see some designs I did here. You can see here, yeah. you can see here. Yeah. Now, but in this particular project, you particular projects you cannot see the design because i actually put um the, i actually put so even though i share this design for you it's going to actually for the fact that so you can see into the particular design that that is one of the advanced features that i love showing you when you have your own castle so even if you even if, even if you for example you come to my academy and you get a personal figma file you cannot because your... now I learned so that like... also that na, if you na Figma for you to put password to your work, you don't want anybody to assess it. You have to be using the premium version. And mm -hmm. for companies, companies, why companies use premium version is that, for example, if a, a designer finish working on a design, automatically Figma generates code for that design. So it's not for the developers because they, they have developer mode. It's not for the developers to copy paste and now make small edits. That's why like, companies use. Um, paid Figma. Yeah, that. No, but also that if you so use nobody and then Network is very bad. You could see your screen, but your voice was breaking. I can't see your screen now, ma. Okay, so I'm going to. Oh, you guys can hear me, right? Can you guys hear me? Hear you I can hear you. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to. My network. When everybody's talking, I'm not hearing anybody. When one person has unmute, you don't even need to unmute again, please. So I'm going to go offline and I'm going to come back again, please. Let me end this. Like I'm going to leave this class, I'm going to restart my devices and then come back again. So give me like five minutes, please.
Can you guys see my screen now? And can you guys hear me? Please, Marvela should do the answering now. Yes, I can see your screen and I can hear you properly. Okay, all right. So, sorry for the whole issues. Like I said, it's raining and whatever is raining is going to affect our network. So, Choma, I don't know. I, I've heard Choma saying something. I don't know if she's mistakenly or mute. I don't know if she's actually a teacher on her own end. So, she mistakenly or mute and she was saying something. So, it's kind of distracting. So I don't know if she's actually saying something or something like that. I don't know. So, I'm going to continue. So, these are the, just like I said, these are the privileges that Figma gives. But this kind of privilege comes when your Figma is already active for three years, then you can get this privilege. But for now, we are going to use this free. And here also, I forgot to say something. So if I open this, this edu plan, and if I open this, so if I open any of this plan, I can create um pages. I can create more than any pages I want to create. But on the free plan, I can only create three. I can only create three. I can only create two or three pages. But for now, I will advise all of us to just use our drafts. So for now, I advise everybody to use drafts. So once you sign up, and this is how your Figma will look like, what you're going to do is just to come to this link and then create a new Figma file. And then, so we're going to create, I'm going to take on um, Figjam and design file. So for the Figjam, so what you do once your desktop is like this, you can change your name to whatever name you want. So Figma has my but if you don't want to, then you can go ahead and use it. Whatever name you use here, if somebody is on this file, this is my cursor that is pointing to you. That's the name that is going to be um, going at like, okay, then this is what I mean. So I'm going to share, open a new file. And this is how FigJam looks like. So while we're waiting for FigJam, FigJam to load, I'm going to also open Figma. So we wait for FigJam to load and we also wait for Figma to load so that we can know our way between these two um, files. So now this is for FigJam. Let's see if Figma has actually been. Okay, now this is for Figma. Just like I said, you can change this background to dark, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So for your Figma, you can change to dark or you can change to light. So the choice is yours. But if you don't want to use your system, so if your system team is light, then your Figma is going to be light. If your system team is dark, then your Figma is going to be dark. So, but you can choose whatever you want to choose. So I choose dark mode for my own. So this is how it's going to look like. So um, I click here for Figjam board, which is the whiteboard and the diagram. Then I click here for the design file, which is for the design and the shape type. So this is how Figjam look like. So you can tell how Figjam look. So you cannot change this background. It's always white. You cannot change it, so it's always white. So I need to ask, can you guys see my screen? But this is the main work right now. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. Um, any other person? What yes, about you, uh, Esther? Screen. All right. Okay. So this is how FigJam look like. They've moved this thing from year to year, which is awesome. So this is how FigJam look like. So this is what co is called FigJam. So this is Figjam. Uh, Figjam is actually beautiful, very colorful, and so easy to use. So first thing first, we have this Figma icon here, which is the main menu. So once you click on it, you can go to Figjam file. You can go to new Figjam file. You can create a new design file. You can import something from, let's say, a PDF file from your um, desktop into your Figjam. You can just edit one for you, undo whatever you are doing, copy and paste and all and all. Plugin, you can get the plugin. So with there, you can just entirely understand. For now, this is just a quick action where we have to create a new file. But for now, let's just take our work inside this particular file. So here is actually IA generator. So we have to generate whatever we want to generate. You want to generate a, a, a you want to generate a a flowchart, or you want to generate a map, map, uh, uh, mind map, or you want to delete and uh, generate help there. I am AI to help you generate a uh, pain point for the event app that we're trying to build and all. So you can there, um, 
um, AI to help you do that. But for now, we are not going to tell AI to help us do anything. We are going to learn on our own before we can tell AI to help us generate something. So this thing is actually called a template. So this is a, a template where you can get your daily things. You can get your team meeting. You can get templates for flow charts. You can get templates for whatever you want to do, for diagram, for meeting. Now, this is actually a brainstorm part. And just like I said, on the UX part, on the UX part, you, there's a lot of design process where you get to know your users, you get to brainstorm. So you're brainstorming where you have to understand your users, create a pain point for them. Now, you know your problem. You don't call it problem. You call it pain points. And now this pain point you've known from your user, you are going to generate a goal. You're going to, uh, you're going to understand your goal. Definitely one person tell you, this is what I'm suffering. The person will tell you, this is what I want. So their needs is their goal. So where you have to write it down, where you have to write a little bio about them, and then you have to create a solution to this problem that you've solved. So all those things are known as the UX design process. So you can get whatever templates you want. Now for user personas, where you have to, now you interview me and you want to write my problem and then my goal. So you can just come here to generate this. So let's go use this particular template. So I'm going to, so I'm going to click on this add templates. So for this is called a user persona. Now this is what it actually looks like. So I've gotten these templates and now, and I'm going to say, now you're going to read about these templates. This is a profile for your ideal customer. So I am your ideal customer that you're trying to create this solution for. You're going to write my name, my age, occupation, my location, maybe what I love um, doing and maybe my best food, for example. And you write a little bio about me. I will tell you, oh, okay. And then you just put my social media link here, here, and here. If you don't want to, you can take it out. But if you want, you, you can take it out. So my personality, you can just put it. I mean, I, I'm, I am an introvert. I'm very creative. I'm always busy. I'm always organized. I'm independent. I love working alone. I don't love teamwork. I'm so active and I'm, and I'm safe. So something like that, you can just uh, move it. But if you don't want to, you can take it out. So then you, yeah, you can just take this interest and influence out if you don't want to put my needs and expectation of what I want for this event app. And then for the motivation, you can also put whatever you don't need from this place, you can take it out. So yeah, you let's generate something called flow charts. So let's look for flow charts. So you can go to the search bar to search for flow charts, or you can choose to type it. So this is a flow chart. So I'm going to click on it at them. So templates is just like um so templates is just like um um how do I even bring it down in layman's language? Template is just like a, a file, a dummy file, dummy file that has the idea of what you want to build, but then you have to change it to your own. So you're going to read about the templates and then you are now this is like a restaurant with a responsibility. So this is a flow chart. You can just change it to your own. So all these things are actually brainstorming process. So when we get to flow chart um, topic, you get to understand all this. What, why is this having wire, wire, and or you get to understand it. But for now, we are just going to have a walkthrough on the tool that we are going to use as a designer. So it is called Figdam and Figma. Okay. So this year you can get whatever templates you want to get and all. So you can. Look for templates for meetings. Maybe um, I will divide you guys into four, four, four persons in a team, and you want to work together. And when I come to your feed, I should be able to see what you guys have done, your progress, your 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 goals, your to do list, what you guys are going to do for the week, and all. I should be able to. So you can choose any of the templates here to use and work as that. Then for the diagram, you can use any of the templates for the user journey map, for the man mapping, for your dia diagram basics and all, and wherever you want to. So when we get to all these topics, empathy map and all, you get to understand all these diagram because it's stage by stage in this, our classes where you get to understand it. Then we get to the final design. Then for the planning, 
So here you get to plan where you say, okay, this week, this is what we are going to do. Okay, on this project, this is what we are going to do. Okay, for this, for today, this is what we are going to do. So you can use any of these templates to do that. Now for the brainstorming section where you have to sit alone and then think of how to give your user better experience when they are navigating through this, your product. This is where you have to use any of these templates to brainstorm. Brainstorm, sorry. Now for your role, you can choose any of these templates as a designer. So one thing I love about FIFA is you're not the only one using FIFA. Just like I said when we are, I was taking you guys, I'm telling you guys the tools to use as a as a designer. Your designers too use FigJam and Figma. Developer use Figma and FigJam. User researchers use FigJam and Figma. Now the reason why I'm having students and educator. Remember, my account is a student account. So I'm using this educational plan. That is why it gives me the privilege of this student and educator plan. Okay, that is why it's giving me this. So if you need to see more of any of the templates, you can then see more in the community. So just like what I showed you, my, my own personal community profile, where you can see designs that, people's design that you have saved. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let me show you what I mean company profile, community profile. Now I can see people's design that I have saved. So if you if I, if I you have access to my Figma profile, you cannot see any of this person's design that I have actually saved on my own. You can't see this person's design, but you can see these two, these two, my two designs, but you can't see the ones I save because it is actually low. It is my private stuff. But you can see all my plugin, but sorry, but I can see all my plugin. I can see all, People's design that I've actually seen that I love so much that I would love to try out or I would love to add to, I, I, I save as inspiration to add to my own design. So that is how this community looks like. So I need to be sure. I don't know if it's my network visibility or somebody mistakenly or me. Okay, so let's continue back to Fig Jam. So this is how FigJam look like. So you can drop, let's say, I, I, Marvelous, Winnie, and Maureen Okonkwo. We are working on this particular event project and I might be off today. So I will just come here and I will drop a comment and I will say, hi, Maureen. Hi, Marvelous. Hi, I'm, I won't be available from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. But this is what I have done so far. And then I will drop the comment. But before that, we work. If they have access to this, your file, you can just use the hashtag. And let's say, now I've dropped the hashtag. So people that already have access to my Figma, already have access to my Figma, this, their names will just pop up. So if it's people that, are, that have access to this design file, you can just type the person's name and tag the person and tell the person, okay, I won't be available, blah, 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 blah. Or, Figma will send a mail instantly to that person. And also, yeah, you're going to receive a comment. Like it's going to be like a red icon where you just see the notification instantly. So if you're using your um, Figma uh, mobile application and you turn on the notification for your mobile app, then you're going to receive a notification that this particular person dropped a comment for you. So if you guys are done working and you want, maybe let's say you want our orga, maybe let's say Roland is our tutor or maybe our team operation lead, then if he comes on this Figma, he will say, okay, he can tag me and say, okay, what has this person done? What have this person done using this comment? And all of us is going to receive the um, notification. And then all those comments will appear. Now, let me just drop a random comment here. So if I drop a random comment here, it's just going to show here. So that's how it is. And let's say I drop a random comment here also. So it's just going to show you. Now, if I tag, let's tag, let me tag my other account. So if I tag my other account, sorry, I'm not Joseph. So if I tag my other account and say, hi, hey, or whatever I want to put, just going to show you. And I will receive email from Figma instantly. And if as me, I log in my other account. Now on my phone, I actually receive an email from telling me that this new account tag me on this. Then if as in my other account is logged in, then you will see the notification Yeah. So instantly, you will, it will take you up to 10 seconds. You will just see the notification instantly. Instantly. So this is how it looks like. I don't choose to go here and then 
return your cursor. So now this is draft. That's why I said as a as a beginner, as a beginner, please use your draft to create your design. So this is here. Yeah, you can go come here and then change it. So I'm going to turn this to practical. Let's use CA arrow career X. I see me to be. So this is going to be career X P practical file, whatever I want to name it. Practical or two file. So practical, my practical is not correct. So you can just choose like this and you can make it this way. And then here yeah, I'm going to see. <coughs> so I'm going to see who I who have access to this file. So if I want to share this file and people now let's say let's say people that has already created their account, they already have an account. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to share it on the group now. People that comes on this Figma file will get to see them. So this is how I'm going to share this file to make it accessible for everybody to either view or it to either view or edit on this file. So I'm going to click on this here. Now, anyone who has access, I can either they, they can either view or they can either edit. Because I'm using an educational file, so that's why it's telling me password required. But if I want to make everybody who can, what can they do? They can just edit. I can give them access. But if I just want them to view, I can just give them this. They can viewers can copy, share, and export on this file. Now the reason why I have this privilege, remember, is because but you when you create your own account, you will not have this privilege. We're not going to show you password. Right? For me. So, for me. so it's not going to ask you this password required because of my because of the um account you are using okay so you're just going to show you're not even going to show you edit you're just going to show you only view and then save you can just even show you the copy but because of the privilege i have that's why it's showing me this format now let me switch to my free trial now i'm in this team let me switch to this um free let me switch to any of let me switch to this collaboration that is free So let me switch to this. Let me switch to this. And let me show you the difference. Now this is it. So it's going to load, it's still loading. Now you can see it. So because I'm using an educational plan, so it's telling me password required. Now it's telling me for me to put a password, I have to upgrade to professional plan. You've seen I have to pay for five dollar per month, and then once I pay, I'm going to you know click and then make payments. So now and it's telling me this is actually a free plan, but this one that is actually a educational plan, you can see that it's giving me privilege to add password and I can just add a password on it and I can copy and share to you guys. For this particular one, this is how your own account will look like once you once you download Figma. So this is how your own Figma account will look like. You cannot give someone access to it. It's just only to view. So once you you've done your assignment, you can just give me the privilege to only view your assignment and go. Now you can restrict the file. You can only invite persons. So you can just click here and only invite. Same thing applies on this my own tool. So I can click here and then put invite and all. I can choose not to allow you guys to copy this one. So viewers can copy. If I click on yes, yeah, it can copy. But if I don't, I won't allow you guys to copy. So you can tell it's giving us the advanced here yeah, and this place. And here it's not giving us the advanced feature at all. So if you're showing additional security, if I want to, then I'll have to make payments for it. So this is how your own account will look like. This is how your own account will look like. But this is how my own account look like, like because I'm using an advanced Figma file. So if I want to give everybody access for this, now I don't want anybody to copy this design. This is, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to um, share this link. So I'm going to save. So once I've saved it, I can just come here and copy the link, come to the group and then 
paste it for everybody to see. So where is our general? So I'm going to paste it for everybody to see. So for those people that have um that, that are using their laptop and that they have already created an account on Twitter, they can just um quickly come on this file and then we'll get to see them. So let's just see if people will people that have already created an account, if they come on this map, let's let me show you how we are going to do that. Right. So yeah, Pika gave us a three minutes music where you can play the music. So but the music is just their own music, not our own. Oh, I don't know the we can hear the music from my end. I don't know if you can hear the music. So you just a three minutes, three minutes music and all. So I'm just not going to stop the music because I don't enjoy playing their music. So your music is just good for it. Now somebody's on this file now. Beniza, Ebenezer is on this file. Ebenezer is on this file. So you can see that if I stop following Ebenezer, now if I want to monitor what this Ebenezer is doing, now you can see his cursor. The E is there because now the only reason he's showing E is because he didn't use a profile picture. So if he used a profile picture, I'm going to see his picture. Now let's see what Ebenezer is actually doing. So Ebenezer, move on this file. Now let's follow him. Move on the file. Just move out of the, keep walking, moving away. Like, Scroll ahead. Now you can see what we, we are actually following the Benisa now. You can see it's even waving high. You can tell how. So you can you can just monitor what this particular. Now another person is here. Victor is on this file. You can choose to follow Victor. You can choose to watch what Benisa is doing. So Benisa keep moving. Victor keep moving around. Now you can see. Now you can see. Now he's using this hand to to move. Move. Why I'm using the cursor. So let's click on Victor. Okay, this is Victor. So let's click on Victor and see. Victor, move, move your file. Move your cursor, sorry. Now you can tell what with the um now zoom in, zoom in now. Like zoom in to read that about us, any of the time, please. Zoom in. Zoom in. Um, Victor, zoom in. Like hold your control and then zoom in. Like hold your control. And then zoom in. You can zoom in. You can. Okay, let's see if Ebeniza uh, hey. Ebeniza zoom in. You are zooming in. Zoom in. Uh, hey. Now you can tell that Ebeniza is actually zooming and you can tell what he's actually doing in the file. So this is how it is. So you can follow somebody on this thing. Now we are three on this one. So you can scroll here to see this and this. So as an owner, I can actually or I can view this person's profile. So I can view his profile. So let, let me view um, Ebenezer's profile. Now this is Ebenezer's profile. So I can see the project name, his last activity. You can see he has no team in common. Yeah, there's like most of us are not working on any team project. Then all their recent projects were here, but it's still loading. So I can view it. So that is one new feature that um, Figma provided. Now somebody is on John Blessing is on this file. So John Blessing, so just move around, take a walk everywhere. So you can tell that you are now four on this particular file. So this is how one thing I love about this Figma. Now let's 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 see this particular tools here. Now let's see all these particular tools here. Another person is on this file. John Blessing is having a talk issue, so she's appearing to on this file. I can choose to view John Blessing's um, profile. I choose to see her profile. Let's see if we are creating together or something like that. I can choose to see maybe a few of her public design that she has done. So let's view her profile. So not in, no, none of her design is being published publicly. So I can't see any file contribution that she has done. So we are back to this. So how many are we on this file? Okay, we are just four. One, two, three. So John Blessings appeared two times. I believe she's having a network issue or she opened her file two times. So that is one beauty about FigJam and Figma. Now let's talk about this too. Now you've been wondering why is Ebenezer cursor like this and why is Victor's cursor like this? Now this is what Ebenezer is using. Ebenezer is using this cursor, this select cursor, while Victor is using the hand too. So if I zoom in like this, this is how it looks like. So this is just, you have to just move your file. You don't have to edit, you just have to move. Let's say for example, 
I am presenting my screen like this. Now, let's say I am, I've done this user persona and I'm ex explaining this to uh, Roland, our operation team, our operation team lead. I can just keep this, um, this I can just use hand to, to start explaining our progress, our uh, idea, our process, what we came up with, blah, 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 and all. I can just use this. But if I choose to want to edit or this, maybe let's say, um, I want to add um, high feet and X people's, uh, maybe people's progress. I can just choose to use this select to click on this and add the high feet and then X like this. And then I can continue with my hand and then start presenting my project to him. Now this is the marker. So this is called marker. So now let's create something with our marker. So I can use this marker. I can use the highlighter. I can use the uh, washi um, tape. I can use this and I can use this. So anyhow, I want to create it. Anyhow, I want to create the one I want to create a tick or thin. Now, if you watch this our marker now, so I'm going to use this tick to see that it will blow off. If I use thin, you see that it has reduced. So I can choose whatever color I want to choose. I can open this and so let me reduce this brightness. It's actually affecting my eye because I'm not using my glass. Okay, now I'm good to go. Okay, so I can use this and this, and I can choose to change the color. So let me use purple color. Now let me write my name very bold. Now I'm using the thin because this thing is very um, thin, so I can choose to erase it. So let's erase it and use, um, let's just draw, let's draw, let me use the thin and let me change the color to, let's use black. So I'm going to use, so I'm going to use thick and I'm going to use black. So let's just draw. Um, let's just draw. Let's just draw maybe something like this. So you can see. So I'm not using. Is my line is not straight. My line is not straight because I'm not using. Um, I'm not holding my shift. So if I want to hold my shift to make my line to be very straight, so I'm going to click on my marker. I'm going to hold shift so that my line will be very straight. So I'm going to hold my shift. Now I'm going to hold this. See, this is not me. I'm not drawing myself. <laughs> I'm not drawing myself before you assume this is how I look like. <laughs> this is not me. Okay, I think I'm seeing another person. I'm blessing is using, you said? Draw very well. Okay, so John Blessing is actually using her profile picture. So that's why I can see that she's using her profile picture. So if I tag her now, I want John Blessing to um tell me something now. Let's say I'm going to tag her on this file. Why is it screaming? I don't know if I'm getting it. Okay, let me see her email. Now, now, hey, before I continue, Sha, now I want to tag John. Now I'm seeing all that marvelous is on this file. I'm seeing Aruna. Aruna is still back. And now you can see that this person's action. Before it was just showing only me, but now I can see all that. Marvelous is actually using a picture, so I can see the picture that she's using. Now I can choose to tag any of them. I don't know why John Blessing's name is not coming out. Let me see if I can tag Marvelous. You're showing me Marvelous content. So I don't know if Marvelous can actually any of them can tag me so that you are here yet. So um, put on this file. I want you guys to just do me a favor. Click on this your comment here and then tag me on the file. So I want them to tag me so that I will show you something. So just tag me while I continue um, explaining this. Now for this, for this, you can just choose to use this tip. And then you can just erase it if you want to. You can use this for a highlighter. Let's say we want this eye to be yellow. And you can choose to change this color to be maybe purple. Please, I don't have purple and yellow eyes. So I have black <laughs> eyeball. So you can just choose to use this highlighter to just maybe highlight anything you want to fit. And leave it this way. Now for the eraser, you can choose to erase any of them if you want to. So I'm still waiting for them to tag me so that I wish, hey, somebody has tagged me now. Good. If you need to tag me now, you can see that 
the notification. If I'm on this file, I will just see the red notification. Somebody should tag me again. Somebody should tag me again. Now I have received email on from Figma, and if I come here, you see that I have received a notification too. Now you can see that Ebenezer has tagged me. So this is one good thing. Now look at he has tagged me on this file. Then I can just choose to reply him here. I can just choose to reply him here. And once I reply him here, he's going to receive email from his end. So he can just screenshot the email, um, the notification and just send on the group for us. This is the notification I will get here. Email, Figma has sent me their own. And then I have um, got him my. So this is one thing about uh, Figma. So yeah, I can use, uh, okay, now for the sticky notes, I can choose any color I want for sticky notes. So where I have to write down, um, so yeah, I have to write down maybe one of the problems. Now, now I've gotten a Figma email from them. Now this is, she has tagged me and she said, I am enjoying this. You can tell how multiple all of us is on this file and everybody is just busy. So this is one sweet thing about teamwork. Everybody is just working. Okay, now let's talk about the sticky note now. This is called, now we've talked about this, our uh, marker here, how it's been done and all. Now let's talk about this thing called sticky note. Now this is sticky note now. So this is where I draw the sticky note. I'm going to zoom here. Now here it's saying type anything. Now let's say, uh, let's say, um, now let's say this is a sticky note. And remember I said, one of the problem is I have is I don't know, I don't, I don't know where to buy my ticket online. Now, it's showing my own file. So let me give everybody privileges to um, edit on the file. So let me give everybody privileges to edit on the file. Now, the reason why I'm giving everybody privilege to edit on the file is because I'm using an educational mode. So if them as a new user, they are just using now you can see I'm giving everybody addition to. Now you can see that I'm giving everybody um, addition to edit on the file. Now if I come here, you see that everybody have access to edit on the file. So Aruna, Ebenezer, John Blessing, and Marvelous and Victor, confirm if you can edit on the file. So duplicate this, try out the sticky note, and see if you can create something on the file. Now I am the owner, that's why I give them as now we have um, Bauer favor. Bauer favor is on this file. I can, because I'm using an educational mode, I can switch my plan. If I don't want to have, if I don't want to become the owner of this file again, and let's say I'm, leave, I'm leaving the team, I can switch this ownership to Marvelous. I can just switch the ownership to Marvelous and then she'll take over. So somebody has clicked on this file. So duplicate it, just control D, click on it and control D on your end. And then let's see what is done so far. Control D on your end. Ebenezer is on this file. So control D. Uh -huh. Now duplicate it out. Good. Where are you taking it to? Now bring it, Uncle. Bring it close. Good. You can see that because I've given because I've given Ebenezer access to it. You can see that he has actually duplicated. Now on your own end, Ebenezer, take one sticky note out from your end. Take one sticky note out. Uh, sticky note out from here. I want to confirm if it's carrying my name as ownership of the file or it is. Carry your name. Who is this anonymous? This anonymous doesn't have an account. This person anonymous doesn't have an account. So the sticky note. So I want to see if the sticky. This is this is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. So this is the sticky note here. Yeah. This is this is the sticky note. Now people asking how can I join this file? If you have an account on Figma, you just have to click on the link and it will take you straight to this. Or if you don't have an account, then you have to create an account. So that you'll be on this file with us. Or if you don't, if you have an account with Figma, just click on the link and it will bring you straight to this Figma file. So where is where are my people? Please come to this link. Click on my profile. Click on my profile. So I to take you to where I am. Good. Now, Ebenezer, this is what I want to confirm. Now this. This is Ebenezer has access or this fine to edit. And once he dropped this sticky note, now it is showing that this is Ebenezer's name and this is Marvelous name. So John Blessing, Victor, I want to see your own. Now I can now edit. Now she said I cannot edit on the file. So 
um, I want to see other persons. Mamelos has dropped our own. Ebenezer has dropped his own. So I need to see other persons um, um, own sticking notes here. Now you can change the color. Now this, uh, this is the three. This is three of my um, own. So I can change the color here. So I'm going to change this to yellow. But don't duplicate. Don't, listen, don't duplicate. Don't duplicate. Come to your sticky notes. Just delete, delete this one. Delete it out. Come to your sticky notes. Just drag one and then replace. So don't duplicate my own. I want to see the sticky note with your name on it. So come to your sticky note, drag one and just align it and just tell me that you can edit or wherever you want to write on it. So Marvelous says she can now edit on the file. Ebenezer just dropped his phone like that. So now I can change the color. I can change the color to this. I can change the color to this. I can make the text here. Now let's use this that we've already written. So I'm going to write my name in here. Now John Blessing has dropped your own. You can change another color. Ebenezer is using green already. So you can just change the color to whatever color you want to use. Perfect. She has done that. So we are now eight on this file. Wow. Somebody is anonymous. Anonymous cannot do anything on this file. The person bearing anonymous needs to um needs to sign up or need to sign up as a new user. Or if you're an old user, then you have to um, um log in. Yeah, she said I am John Blessing and a certified certified what <laughs> she's writing. Okay. So <laughs> certified loan. Okay, all right. So this is fun. I love what everybody is doing here. I'm not seeing Victor's and um, I'm not seeing Victor and um, who again? Okay, I, I'm not seeing Victor's. So I don't know they, if he's um, still on. I'm this being side. blocked let's, from. I'm, let's I'm being told to, to verify. Say verification required, and I click the verification. It's taking me to yeah. another place because I can't even see what you're doing on my phone. I can see, but on my on my laptop, I can't see anything. Well, I, I don't know where that one is coming from. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know. Maybe after the class, I don't know the verification. Maybe I can't remember again. But I need to know why it's asking for verification. Okay. So let's continue. So Victor is kind of having an issue. So we'll stop following Victor and let's go back and follow. Um. Let's go back and see what Marvelous is doing. So I'm going to stop following Marvelous and then we are here. So I can choose to make this title and she say a core in an introvert. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to drop her on here. Now I'm going to make this text. I'm going to highlight this text. I can choose to make it whatever font I want to. So but simple is okay for me. I can choose to make this with medium. I can choose to make it large. I can choose to make it extra large. I can choose to make it huge. So if I'm making it huge, it's actually just expanding. So what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to drag it. But why am I using which? Let me just use medium. Medium is okay. So I'm going to reduce it to this our normal size. Now you can see that three of them has, have actually dropped a sticky note and they wrote something to tell you that they have access to the file right now. So this is how this is how it is. Now this is how to work with sticky notes and how to work together on Figma. Now this is for shape. Now this is for shape. Now, if you want to create this, this is a flowchart. A flowchart is like a navigation that tells you how user is going to navigate on this particular event product that we are trying to build. So if, if you don't want to stress yourself, people that are on this file, just click on my profile, you'll get to follow me up and down. So now this is this shape. Now this shape are being created. Uh, this shape, uh, they, are, they use shape. We can use shape to create flowcharts. So all this shape you are seeing, this is, um, a, a circle, this is square, this is square, this is rectangle, and this is for the connector. So this is for connector. So you, boy, you can choose to make your own connector like this. So now all these shapes are being used to create all this flowchart. So flowchart flow chart is um, a roadmap of how your project, sorry, or how your yeah, project, website, mobile app. So I like using the word project. How your project will look like the navigation you use how your user is going to navigate on that particular platform whether it's website or application how your user is going to navigate on that particular platform so uh let's continue now for the test you can choose to bring text here and then type let's say marvelous this is going to be your this is going to be your own file so this is going to be your own file then for um so for your own for your own section now this is section let's say for this particular section this is where marvelous is going to work on 
then for this place section you can just change it to marvelous you can come here also and then change it to um yeah you yeah you can change it to say okay this is where um uh, ebenezer is going to work and this is where this is where your blessing is also going to work so this, this is a section by section you say okay um this is section this is where okay victor is back on this file you can say okay this is where victor is going to work so you can just bring the text here and then keep it here and say okay ebenezer this is your own section marvelous this is your own section victor this is your own section and all and then everybody gets to work together as team now for here is your table where you have to create table let's say we're going to create table depending how many rows and columns you want to create so you can see here i have yeah, you can add yeah you can add so i think i'm actually getting confused of which one is wrong i'm trying to scroll but we get we get to learn together so yeah i have how to place my table i can choose to say okay marvelous okay let's say yeah it's going to be to to do or let's say names so yeah we're going to say names of names and then yeah i can say okay marvelous you're going to work on this say so this is marvelous parts this is victor's parts i think i didn't spell out marvelous the name very well so let's say this is blessing uh this is ebenezer's place so this is a disaster. They say this is going to be trauma, and this is going to be Roland. So I'm just calling random person's name in class. That's how I used to work. So I'll just start calling your names in class. We just get used to it. And I'm going to say to do. So I can say to do, yeah. So to do, I will say, okay, Marvelous is going to create this plus screen. She's going to create this plus screen. This person is going to create the sign up screen. And this person is going to create the login screen. And this person is going to create this. This person is going to create maybe um logout screen for example and this person is going to create um the um uh, otp screen and this person is going to create the home page so this is how i'm going i can say okay now to do so once you are done you just tell me something like that just how it will and then this is for stamp so we can say okay this stamp you can say okay this is maybe let's say um uh, roland did something that is so so good i can just drop this stamp and say this is so good you can just drop a stamp for him and say yes thumbs up to him and he did a great job or maybe let's say for example marvelous didn't get something right i can just drop this and say no 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 i'm not going to accept this something like that and then this you can choose to drop image you can choose to say okay maybe blessing this something that is very funny on the file you can just come here and drop an emoji for it and we all laugh together something like this and then yeah you can just come to the emoji and say this is actually not looking good it's, it's a bad or it's not it's a sad screen something like that so this is how awesome how fit jam or somebody did something that is nasty and you can just drop the eye and look at the person are you, are you okay on this side so this is how this stamp looks like so for year uh for year is also how you can get all the stickers you want to get if you're not seeing any of them from this um table here you can get templates just like the same way we got templates here you can get your plugins and you can get your wing gadgets where you have to link other to to your feed them and then here is more where you have to get other things that you can for now we are going to use this to work on any project that we are working on are you guys with me are you guys actually enjoying this are you willing to um yeah. are you willing are you to really to create an account right now to start doing one or two things on feed jam yeah it's interesting all right so now this is how fig jam look like so now let's move to figma now figma now fig jam is all about the brainstorm where we have to brainstorm together now this is fig jam so this is sorry this is figma so i'm going to do the same way i gave everybody access on this particular fig jam so i'm going to give everybody access here so i'm going to just check here to make sure that um you guys cannot copy the design so and i'm going to say okay everybody will have access to edit anybody on this file can have access to it i'm not putting password i'm just going to set it and i will copy the link and then i will come to our link here and then i will drop the link for us so we cannot jump or we cannot jump on we cannot jump on the fig jam list so come on figma my velocity is here already so now this is fig jam this is fig jam Oh no, you can't do this with your phone. I'm sorry. So now this is Figja. Marvelous is the first person to get on this file. <laughs> wow. No, please don't do anything. Don't do anything. Allow me to walk you through. Let me walk you through. I'm hearing, I'm hearing myself. Somebody mistakenly 
or mute. Okay, thank you very much. The person has actually mute. So I'm going to walk you through Fig Jam. John Blessing is here. I'm going to walk you through Fig Jam and then we get to try out something. My battery is going low. I think I have 20% left. There's no light because it has been raining since morning. Okay, so let's continue now. This is Fig Jam. Welcome to Fig. Sorry, this is Figma. Welcome to Figma file. So this is how Figma look like. Just like I said, you can turn it to light, dark, or whatever you want to. So you can change this background. Now for Fig Jam, you cannot change this background. Because white. Right. But for Fig Jam, Fig Jam, you can change this background to you can change this background to um, white. Now this is page. Now it's one e one e one e one. Now let's change it to something make color. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to move this. For people that love white background, this is for you. But Auntie Helen don't love white background. Everything about that is dark. So I'm going to come down. So somebody Arab is here. Rooney. Rooney is on this file. So I'm going to use dark background i'm going to use this background but if you want to change it yeah so let's move this to this red part and then you can choose this 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 so you can use this color wheel to choose whatever color background you want to but but please why we use red background when you want to design something are you not looking like are you not looking like a red red person so you just use so what you're just going to use is you can leave it in this red but what you're just going to do is just Career X. So let me change it to P. So let me use the word P, P cohort two. Just the same way it applies on the figure. So this is the move to, and this is the scale to where you have to scale whatever you want to scale. But I'm going to teach you that. So this is for frame. Now we want to get, are we designing for a mobile app? So we are going to use iPhone 14 Pro or 15 Pro Max, iPhone 14 or 15 Pro, iPhone 13 or 14, iPhone 14 Plus and all. So if you want to design for a mobile view, whether it's been an Android or a mobile, you can just choose between from iPhone 13 mini upward. So you can choose from this. You can choose, you can go back. You can choose iPhone 14 Plus. You can go back, choose iPhone 13 and 14. You can go back, choose iPhone 15 and 15 and 14, 14 and 15 Pro, you can go back and then and use 15 and 15, uh, 14 and 15 Pro Max, sorry. So these are the five frames I will advise you as a designer to use. But for now, at your level, you're going to use 13 Mini. So you don't need to use this four. For now, you're going to use one, two, three, four. No, for your actual, you're going to use iPhone 13 mini. That is what you're going to use. So I'm going to take out all this. So I'm going to delete it. Now, at your level, you're going to use iPhone 13. Now, you'll be wondering, how did I select this? So I click on this frame, and this pops up for me. So I'm going to use this iPhone 13 mini. Now, did I want to design for tablets? Yes, I want to design for tablets. So I'm going to select um, iPhone 11, iPad 11. Um, Pro. So this is what I'm going to use, iPad 11, iPad Pro 11. So this is what I'm going to use. Now, do I want to design for, do I want to design for um, desktop? Yes, I want to design for desktop. So I'm going to click on this desktop, and then this is what I'm designing. Now, you want to design your portfolio. Now, yesterday I said, if Maureen wants to design her portfolio, how is she going to do that? I said she's going to use the mobile, she's going to use the tablet, and she's going to design for it. So if she share her link for me, and she share, let's say the developer has already code her work, and she wants to share her link for me. So if the developer share the link for me, and she forward it to me, I can either preview with any of these my devices, and the design is going to be. So for her, if she wants to design her portfolio, she's going to design it in the mobile, in the tablet view, and desktop view. So click on this frame, and then click on this frame, and then you can 
choose to get any device. If you want to design for watch, yes, you want to design for watch, and this is for watch frame. So here we have the watch frame, here we have the phone frame, here we have the iPad frame, and here we have the desktop frame. So this is it. Now she wants to section this and call this um, portfolio. So she can section this and then call this portfolio. So she can just click this and then section and she can come here and then she can change the name and says, let's change it to Maureen's. So let's change it to Maureen's uh, portfolio. So I'm going to change it to Maureen's portfolio. So I'm going to change it to Maureen's portfolio. So this is how it looks like. Then this is for shape. Where I have to get my rectangle. I have to get my line. I have to get my arrow. I have to get this. I have to import image from my Figma, from my laptop into my Figma. And then this is for pen, where I have to maybe draw something. So I'm going to just draw something. And I can choose to give this a corner. Um, so I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to make this. This is actually black. I'm going to change it to white. And I'm going to make it thick. So I can come to this place and then make it to be very, very thick if I want to. So I just, I just click on it and then drag my cursor left or right. But you can choose to type the number if you want to type the number. So this is how FigJam look like. Then I can choose to drop my text in one of these frame and said, this is so nice. This is so nice. And I can choose to increase it. So this is the text. It's too tiny. I can just come to this place and then I'm going to increase it to bold and then change it from 2F to 64. Now, if I change to 64, this is how it will look like. So this is how it will look like. I can choose to make it 128. Now, once I make, make it 128, it's out. I'm going to bring it inside the desktop so that it will be very, very good for us to see. So now it gets to 128. This which is the last option is giving you, but it doesn't stop there. You can choose to make 2,000 or 200. So let's make 2,000. It's too much. So let's make it 200. And then you can put it inside there. So this is how FigJam look like. So this is for the same hand to where you have to, when let's say uh, we are presenting our work to Roland, we are presenting our work to Roland as our premium uh, manager. And then we have to, uh, uh, this is where we have to uh, use our hand to, to just present our work. Now the same thing for the comment, it's just the same thing. So if uh, people on this file that have access to it, you can just tag me on the comment, or just say something in the comment and it will appear yeah, the same way it appears on the fig jam, where is it? The same way it appears on the fig jam, that's how it's going to appear on this Figma. Now, also for this, I'm going to explain this some other time. So I just want you guys to explore yourself for this fig jam, Figma and fig jam, and see how it works. So in our next class, we are going to carry out a particular design on Figma. So we're going to end the class here. And so, okay, somebody has dropped a comment for me. She said, hello, design cook. She has Marvelo drop a comment. I have seen the notification here. I've gotten the mail and, and I'm going to see the notification also. Yeah. Also, yes, I'm waiting for it to show you now also. I will say hi. Hi, Marvelo. So I'll say hi. And then she will receive it from my end. Okay, so this is how it does. So everybody, everybody, everybody is busy on this file. And you can tell that. Okay, let me reply. Ebenezer too. Hello. Let's say hi. Uh, I don't know why Ebenezer's name is not coming now. Okay, now see Ebenezer's name is out. Hi, Ebenezer. So now he's going to receive from his phone and, and then show us the screenshot. Same thing with Marvelous. So this is how FigJam and Figma does. So FigJam is more wide than Figma. So Figma, I'm going to, so in our next class next week, we're going to um, work on the design and then do the, we're going to work on the design and then going to do prototype for maybe one or two screens. Okay, so we're going to end the class here and expect your tax tomorrow on the classroom. So, if you have a question, please do and ask your question.